I'm going to run through with you this morning um, how you can join the DPS, like I say, as, as Chris has covered. Um, that's something that you can do immediately, uh, on the, even as soon, like I say, as soon as uh, on the back of uh, completing this webinar. Um, this is going to remain open for quite a few years, but obviously the sooner you get on there, the more access you're going to get uh, through uh, the upcoming opportunities that we've got. Uh, I'll demonstrate this through a few through some videos. I think it's a little bit easier if it's more visual as opposed to me uh, simply ex explaining the process that you've got to go through. First thing that you'll need to do is to register. Uh, the first video will take you through that of which I'll um, talk over as well. Um, uh, just a note as well, I, uh, I believe there's some zoom in uh, options as well down the left hand side of the screen. Um, like I said, th this is um, the maximum clarity that we were able to give the video. Uh, you should be able to pick up all the key information, like I say as well. I I'll talk over the key, talk over the key bits. Um, so as you can see, uh, just before I play the video, um, on the PFH website, again, we'll circulate all the links that you'll need for this. Um, you just first thing to do is to click register. Um, that will then take you to this screen where we'll require suppliers um, to fill in information uh, about their organization. You can see, for example, um, asking for company reference number, the company name. This is just all standard information you would input to register for, uh, for, for any platform. There's nothing in there that's too onerous, um, as you can see. The video will take you through this, just contact details should we need to get in contact with you around upcoming tenders to make sure that you're not missing anything. Um, the user details, you can have more than one user, like say for the large, larger organisations aware that you may have bid teams that um, have six or seven people working on bids so that uh, the, the portal uh, allows for that, you can have more than one uh, level of access. Um, this page here, this will, um, again, it just takes you to a little bit more information about what your organization covers. You'll see here that um, I'm going to uh, input a category code of which you'll be notified of, of opportunities in, a, in and around that category. Um, again, I'll circulate links uh, if you're not familiar with that system. It's not uh, nothing to worry about there um, in terms of finding what your organization does and how that um leads into what codes uh, are applicable for your organization. So you can see here, I'm just going to put in a generic one, which I'm um, familiar with. It's 399, and that is just an overarching planned works um, code. Again, the final screen just covers off just for a little bit more information about yourselves. Um, so with, with the aim of the DPS is to incorporate SMEs as well. We just want to make sure we're capturing a, a good picture of the, the types and sizes of the organisation that are on our DPS and say if it's going to lead us that we're, we're not tapping into the SMEs as much as we'd hope to, that we could we can adjust to that and um, and start engaging with more and more companies. So we've got a great balance of all, of all contractors across the DPS. Next stage, using the intend portal, adding the company details and how to access um, the DPSs that we have. This next video again, likewise, I'll run you through that um, with a video so you can see visually what you need to do. Um, I'll just get that underway for you. So when you've registered, you will receive an email. Um, saying that the registration has been successful, it normally takes a couple of seconds. You can then just log straight in. Um, as you can see across the top, um, there's a couple of titles here, but the main one that you're looking for once you've logged in is tenders and then to click on current. This will give you access to all current tenders that we have available through uh, our intend portal. As Chris mentioned, um, all frameworks will be on will be on PCS. Um, I've just knocked that back to the start, so bear with me. Just to try to pause that at a key point. Um, yeah, so all the framework tenders are on PCS, which I'm sure you're familiar with. This is around the DPSs uh, that we have live. Uh, so this is where you'll you'll access all that information. So yeah, as I've covered, you click on tenders, you click current. To be aware of this DPS is both England, Wales and Northern Ireland and for Scotland. So you can see if, if it's 
with this, it's, it's the Scottish based DPSs that you're looking for. So as you can see, I'm highlighting through the video, just be aware that the, the you have to click on the Scotland one. Um, otherwise, it'll, it'll bring you tender opportunities for England, Wales and Northern Ireland, which is obviously no problem if you also cover work south of the border as well. Um, in this video, like I say, uh, I'll run through uh, a bid for the Capital Works DPS Scotland. Um, you see, just to double check again, that it's titled Scotland and it'll end in an eight. Um, and that's how you'll be able to check that you're on the right one. Express interest in that tender. Again, if you want to express interest and then you realize it's not actually for you, that's no problem. Please have a, have a look around, see if it's for you. There's, there's no obligation by expressed interest within that. Across the top, you can see there's three tabs. Um, the first tab, the tender, just again, more of the same, just a little bit more of a background around the tender. Correspondence, if you have any questions, you can um, send them via this uh, via this platform or you can contact me or my team directly. Again, I will uh, I'll circulate as um, at the end at the end of this presentation so you can get in contact. So now we're at the main part of completing the tender. Um, there are, this, this section here will run you through um, and provide documents that you won't have access to. So these, the, these are three, three documents, uh, A, B, and C, that are provided by Procurement for Housing in Scotland that we're asking you for. There are other documents that we request, but these will be, uh, which I'll, I'll cover later uh, on in the video, but these will be things that you have access for and you don't need us to provide. So when it comes to the bottom, you can see it's asking for a financial assessment form, document B. Rightly, you would have no idea what that is, um, but we're, we're providing that for you uh, and I'll run through where that fits in. Um, there's also a user guide as well, um, which runs, th runs through essentially what I'm talking through at the moment, but I, I appreciate that there's a lot of people from the feedback that we've had that it's a 12, 13 page document and sometimes watching a quick video um, is much easier because I, I know everyone is pressing with time. I will just resume this. Okay, it seems to take it back to the start. Let me see. Just let it catch up to where we were. It seems to be taking it back to the slideshow when I pause it, so I will try and minimize the amount I do that. So you can see, uh, just to recap, It'll be across the top in DPS tender return where you need to click where you can access the tender in, and you can start submitting your return. It'll just recap again through the correspondence. Apologies for this. Okay, the next thing to do um, following the download of, of the three documents that, we're, that we've provided, it'll take you to at the moment, is to conf a confirmation of your involvement. Again, this just, open, this just opens up the, um, the tender return for you. There's, there's no further obligation. And you can see from here, these are all the 12 lots that Chris has covered in his presentation. Um, click the ones that, again, are applicable to yourselves. Uh, you can... Uh, it's, it's not just one uh, DPS lot that you can apply for. If you're a larger construction company, you, you, you may cover all 12 of these uh, lots. Again, um, that's absolutely fine. You can, submit for, you can submit for all 12, you can submit for one or anything in between. So you can see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm, I'm acting for the purposes of the videos. Um, you'll see it as a Windows and Doors uh, contractor. Um, so I'll click opt out on everything that's not applicable to my business. Um, only opt in for lot six, which is windows and doors, which will then, uh, when, once I've become an approved supplier, will give me access to all the windows and doors uh, tenders that come through procurement for housing uh, and nothing else which is, isn't applicable to your organisation. Um, 
you can see uh, the portal may take you to the top of the screen when uh, whenever you click opt out. The reason for that is um, there are some questions further down applicable to each of the lots. So what that's doing is just refreshing the page. Uh, the more the more lots you apply for, the more category specific question uh, questionnaires that need to be completed. But uh, I'll cover that in the next uh, couple of minutes once the video catches up. Excellent. So you can see there, I'm a win. I'm Windows installer. Um, I've I've selected the appropriate lots that I need to uh, that I need to be on in order to get access to the tenders that I want to be considered for, and it won't give uh, it won't start sending me tenders that uh, are not linked to my organisation. Using the portal, this is the second video again. Just going a bit more into detail about what needs to be covered and where and where you can find that information, uh, and the final steps in order to submit. Anything marked in red is mandatory. Anything in orange is good to have, but not mandatory. You you if you do not fill in any of the uh, orange documents. Uh, you will not be rejected. It's it's just a good to have, and you can you can see I'm just running you through some of the documents. Uh, you can see uh, public and employees insurance is mandatory. I'm sure all all your organisations have this. Um, so run through uh, in the order that they appear. There's an evaluation uh, that needs to be completed. You can see on the left hand side, um, there's 150 questions in total. Don't be put off by that. There are uh, apart from a couple they are all yes no questions and you can see our, our, the video run takes you through just so you can get a flavor uh, the, there's no point going through this in any particular detail because i'm sure like i say uh, questions around addresses what type of organization you are um you all know i'm all extremely comfortable in f in filling this in again just a bit of a demonstration to show you that there's a lot of yes no questions and the boxes are if you've ticked yes or tick no Again, you can see from here, um, you can see the regions in which uh, you want to be considered for work. Um, again, one of the benefits of the DPS, you don't have to have coverage of the entirety of Scotland. Um, you can break that down to local authority area. Again, that's trying to be inclusive of SMEs. Um, okay. The next thing to upload um, is a copy, uh, which would be saved to your desktop. That's a copy of your accounts from the most recent two years that you have access to. Um, Dynamic purchasing system agreement uh, and the financial assessment of forms in red. Again, you can see that um, that these are mandatory uh, mandatory documents, and these are the documents that we provide. Um, we need a copy of your health and safety document. Again, we don't we don't score that. We're not expecting um, a sixty page. Um, account of everything that you do especially if you're a smaller organization as long as you have something uh, something that you can detail that uh, has been documented on the on the regulations that you follow in relation to the work that you carry out and making sure that's covered in in a safe manner we just need a copy of that um normally uh, signed uh, by a, a director or someone see, seeing you within the organization Uh, just skip that back a moment so you can see where I clicked. Okay. So what you can see here is um, for every every lot um, that you apply for, there is a questionnaire that needs to be completed. Um, you can see uh, my mouse has just hovered over that. Um, again, that this is mandatory. Um, so I'll, I'll play this now. The main part of what this covers is we need three references of, of similar works that you've you've carried out within the sector. Uh, again, I'm, I'm sure you're able to provide this. Uh, the, main, the main point on this um, is that we're looking for an adequate amount of detail. Uh, we're not looking for war and peace, but as you can see, we're looking for 150 to 200 words per reference. Um, and we also ask for the details um, of that referee we only get in contact with with a handful, uh, but it is good if if you get in touch with your FRE first, and so uh, you may be contacted from procurement for housing uh, to, just to verify that these works uh, were carried out and these were the contract values. 
again, there's just a couple of questions that will be uh, applicable to your to your organisation and the industry, such as the windows and doors contractor work that you you carry out. Um, again, I'm not going to run through them in detail because there'll be it'll be it'll be stuff that you know more about windows and doors than I do. Um, just make sure everything in there is completed, save the work and close that off. Um, you can also see that we uh, we ask for um, Fence or Ceritas um, accreditation or, or an industry equ equivalent as well. Um, as long as that industry equivalent you can demonstrate uh, is, is of equal standing or similar standing to Fence or Ceritas. Um, to, to show that as a, you're an accredited uh, installer of windows there are uh, again there's there's different accreditations required for different lots not all lots have uh, have an accreditation requirement once all that's completed once everything in red um, has been uploaded you'd simply uh, click submit return um, that'll give you a notification to say that that's been done correctly um, and then it'll be through to my team um, to evaluate that tender, uh, we, by regulation, we, we have to turn, turn these around for you in 10 days. Uh, I'd like to think under more circumstances, we can turn that around um, in three or four days for you. Um, so that's a quick overview of the process. Um, I'm sure there's probably a couple of questions. I'll also be circulating the videos as well. There's a user guide within there. It's uh, And I say, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me if when you come to do these, um, you have further questions. We, we want as many of you guys on there as possible across many lots to make our tender process uh, as competitive as possible and to give you access into some really good public center, uh, public sector contracts. Um, so yeah, happy to field uh, any easy questions, any difficult questions. 